right, so today is Saturday, March 21st, and I'm currently just entering Las Vegas Boulevard, and I'm going to take you guys on a little tour to see what it looks like. I haven't been yet. Uh, the shows, I closed my show on Sunday night, uh, March 15th was my last show. Uh, the Las Vegas Strip closed at, if I'm not mistaken, 6 p.m. on March 17th, uh, St. Patrick's Day, and there was no other performances allowed after that, and it's been a 30-day ban, and then only essential businesses were to stay open, and a bunch of non-essential businesses were still open. So the governor yesterday, March 20th, came on the news, and he was not happy, and he said, damn it! It's now mandatory that non-essential businesses shut down. And now Las Vegas Metro uh, Police Department has authority to enact. I don't know, whatever. Uh, but the point is, uh, people weren't listening. Uh, so now it's, it's now officially uh, closed for essential uh, non-essential businesses. Essential businesses still open. I'm not sure what we're gonna see when we get down to the strip, but uh, we're going to come up to the Las Vegas uh, sign, the world-famous uh, Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas. That sign was designed by Betty Willis, and it's one of the very few iconic landmarks and, or signs or, or logos that uh, you don't have to pay royalties for. She gave it, uh, there's no, so she doesn't get any royalties off of the Las Vegas sign. Anyway, at any given time, this is a Saturday morning, on any given time, there's no less than 30 people standing in line. Could be up to 100 people standing in line in front of the sign taking photos. I can see some cars ahead. Uh, maybe people are still, uh, they're doing what we're doing, is taking a video or photos of how barren the strip is. But uh, here we are coming up to the Las Vegas sign. And there are some people. Uh, but if you wanted to get your photo taken with the Las Vegas sign, there's no lineup. It's a walk-up, <laughs> walk-up queue. So, it gives you an idea as to you know, how low the crowds are going to be uh, on the Las Vegas Strip. All right, we're coming up to Mandalay Bay, which is an MGM resort's property. MGM was the first large chain of hotels. I mean, when Encore announced that they'd be closing their doors uh, on Tuesday. And, uh, but again, that's just one property in Las Vegas. And then MGM Resorts followed suit. And they said they're gonna close all their properties and MGM has a lot. They have MGM, Luxor, Excalibur, New York, New York, uh, Park MGM, which is the old Monte Carlo, uh, the Bellagio, MGM on this side, and anyway, you get the idea. So there's a lot of properties that they shut down. Caesars Entertainment didn't shut down their properties. Uh, I would imagine they would have followed suit, but the governor beat them to it and ordered a lockdown, a 30-day lockdown. So, uh, all right. So anyway, normally you'd see tons of people walking up and down the boulevard, but there really is nobody, and there's no traffic. Uh, on a Saturday, traffic would be bumper to bumper. It doesn't matter the hour. Uh, obviously, later as the day goes on, it gets a little heavier, but I mean, look at this. There's nobody, no cars other than a bunch of Yahoo's like us uh, getting an idea as to what's uh, happening out there. And so here we go. I mean, if they're going to do some road maintenance, which they always do on Las Vegas Boulevard, I would imagine that they're going to move forward and do that sooner than later uh, because, you know, they've got 30 days of really no traffic uh, to get it done. Well, there's somebody in a green Jeep right here with Elvis pants on, so <laughs> it's a, I don't know where <laughs> where they're going, but they're <laughs> uh, it's not going to be uh, entertaining the crowds on the strip, that's for sure. So it's taken us forever to get on the uh, past the south end of Las Vegas Boulevard. Um, it's an Elvis impersonator of some kind. <laughs> <laughs> That's so wonderful. Uh, it's taken us a while to move past the south end of the strip. Uh, 
because we're hitting every single light, so I apologize. But we're going to get into the heart of the strip here momentarily. Our crossing uh, Tropicana Avenue, and if you look at this intersection on a Saturday, this is absolutely ridiculous. Um, yeah, normally there'd be people everywhere on the escalators. The escalators are actually turned off. Uh, people everywhere on the escalators, all the way on the walkways across the top to get from hotel to hotel. Oh, this is crazy. And I mean, we're only a couple of days into the into the ban or the lockdown. So once everyone's uh, settled in and tourists are basically out of town now, because there's nowhere for them to go, nowhere for them to stay. But if you look at this, oh my goodness, by the M&M store, there's nobody walking the strip. It is a ghost town. This is crazy. There's maintenance workers. Las Vegas Metro is around. I don't know. There's a heavy presence on the strip. I don't know if that's because, you know, they're watching for looters or something. I don't know. But like, here's this little courtyard here, this Hawaiian marketplace. Nothing. Look at this. Everyone's boarded up. Businesses are putting plywood covering all their windows and doors. It's like apocalyptic. Yeah, I'm actually quite surprised on how much uh, Las Vegas Metro Police Department presence is. I mean, this is, I think, what, six or eight uh, cars that we've seen. Um, the police uh, Ford Explorers. Man, oh man. <laughs> Once Vegas gets going again, I should shoot another video to show you how crazy traffic, uh, car traffic would be, foot traffic would be at this time. It's crazy. It's really mind boggling. I mean, the traffic's so bad on the Las Vegas Boulevard that I actually avoid it. Like, I, I just absolutely avoid it. I, if there's any way that I can get to where I need to go by not going on Las Vegas Boulevard, I will. So I'll come in from, you know, Dean Martin or Industrial Avenue on the back sides. I'll come in Paradise Avenue, which is just east of the Strip. And those are two corridors that a lot of locals use and a lot of cabs use and Uber drivers, Ubers and, and Lyft. And we stay away from Las Vegas Boulevard because it just takes forever to get from light to light. Traffic moves so, so slowly. Uh, so we come in from the back sides and then whatever hotel you need, you come up Paradise and then you turn on the intersecting road to get to the hotel that you need to get to. Um, man, it's insane. All my Canadian peeps who are from Edmonton, it's a lot like West Edmonton Mall, you guys can relate to this. Uh, you do not just park at the mall and go to the mall and walk through the mall to where you need to go. You figure out where your store is and you go to that entrance and park near there, get into the mall, get your stuff, get out. Last place you wanna be is cruising around the mall. It's the same idea for the strip. Here's Bellagio Fountain on our left in the Bellagio Hotel. There's nobody. <laughs> That's crazy. Fountains are off. Nobody there watching. I mean, this intersection here on the on the right hand side where Paris and Planet Hollywood connect. I mean, the foot traffic here is sometimes 20 people deep from curb to wall. And it's I mean, it's insane. Like there's a lady jogging on the, on the strip right now. You wouldn't be able to jog. There'd be just too many people. It's very, very difficult to do. Now this might not be a big deal to you, but I'm absolutely amazed. This is, like, have a look at this. There's nobody, one person, two people on the walkway. Here's the, uh, the marketplace in front of Bali's. Again, more Las Vegas Metro police presence. Nobody, nobody in this, stores nobody in the walkways man this is nuts and as i mentioned they should be doing some work it looks like they're, <laughs> they're doing something more las vegas metro up here on the left i wonder if that's the whole point of it is that they're just doing what they can i would imagine that all the properties probably still have security going on in them you know i don't i don't know if you just lock the doors and turn everything off and leave it turn on the alarm system you know do they have an alarm system the places have never been closed do they even have locks on the doors when I mean, they do but like the doors have never been locked 
you know, you you finish doing maintenance or or rather uh, renovations on your property, and as soon as you open the doors, they don't close again until you demolish the property. Uh, I mean, this is never locked. Um, Vegas has, as if I'm not mistaken, has shut down on a, on a couple of points. I think maybe after September 11th, um, they did a lockdown. And I believe there was a day of mourning after Kennedy was assassinated in 63. Uh, all right, here's Caesar's Palace. All the fountains are shut down. Again, Las Vegas Metro here. Nobody along the walkways. This is... I would have never in a million years thought that Vegas could be a ghost town. It's nuts. Well, here's the mirage on the left. You know, it really does. You kind of... Is it a mirage? Is, there, is it real? Because there's nobody here. The volcano is... Uh, the water's not running on the volcano. Man, oh man. Again, more Las Vegas Metro. He's arresting somebody. There's the uh, Grand, uh, sorry, the canals over at the Venetian. All the boats are parked. <laughs> the, gon the gondolas are all parked. Oh, man. Okay, well, I'm just repeating myself. As you can see, it's nobody here, nobody anywhere. Uh, and Las Vegas is shut down. All right, passing Treasure Island. We just got wind and encore, and that pretty much wraps up the strip. So, hey, I just wanted to show you guys uh, when we're open for business, please come back. You know, I sometimes I was annoyed by the amount of traffic and the amount of people walking up and down the strip, but I take that all back because when they're not here, you sure miss them. So, uh, yeah, come back and see us soon. Uh, we hope uh, you're staying healthy and being smart out there. You know, it's this uh, COVID-19 thing is serious, so treat it seriously. All right, all the best to you guys.